morning. I'm going to be talking with you today for just a few minutes about the school intruder drill. Okay, listen again, school intruder drill that we're having March the 15th, which is the half day, the early release day, and we'll be doing that at 8 o'clock. So I want to tell you kind of what to expect. Um, you know, one of the jobs, uh, we have a lot of jobs, but one of our jobs is to keep you safe. And it's like the adults, the adults in the building become your mom and dad when um, we are thinking about safety. Because we, want, we are charged or directed and want to keep you safe just like we would our own children. So we've practiced drills and you've practiced drills like fire drills and tornado drills since you've been in pre-K, kindergarten. And so those, we know what to do. This drill is a little bit different. And so we're going to talk about it. Um, what we would do if an unwanted uh, person came into the school, an unwanted visitor, someone that we that has no reason to be in the building. And that's what a school intruder drill is really about. So in this type of uh, situation, really the most important thing you can do is listen to uh, the adults that are giving you direction. My job is to listen and see what's going on in the building and to let your teachers know so they can make good decisions about your safety. Your job is to keep quiet and be good listeners and um, so that you can hear the information that your teacher is giving you. So if there were, were an uninvited guest in school, we would need to work together to keep everybody safe. We, you may have to leave the classroom as um, a whole, like one whole wing might leave. If, let's, let's pretend that a person comes in the front of the building and they're walking down to the gym and the secretaries in the front office realize they don't know who that person is, maybe that person's upset, so they would call, um, they would make a, an announcement that this is an intruder, there's an intruder in the building, and that we want you to go on lockdown. Now, the people in the front of the building will lock down because that's where the intruder is. Those of you maybe on the seventh grade hall, on the eighth grade hall, your teachers may listen, may pull everybody in the class, they'll listen to see if they hear any noise, and if they think it's safe, they may take you out the doors quietly and to another point out on this, the campus where you would be safe but out of the building. That means you really have to listen to your teacher. And you know how we say when we have a fire drill everybody needs to exit quietly? And we know that you don't really exit that quietly. In this case you would be like tiptoeing quickly, quietly getting out of the building where, and going where your teacher tells you to go. Um, it used to be that everybody just stayed in lockdown when something was going on in a building and today they're wanting us to get out of the building if it's at all, you know, if it's safe. That doesn't mean everybody in the building leaves at one time. Not everybody's going to be doing the same thing. If you're in the lunchroom and there's something going on, say, on the seventh grade wing, your teachers in the lunchroom may say, leave your lunch, we're going out the back door. If you're out on the plate, you know, out in gym, your teachers may not bring you back in the building because it's safer being outside than being in the building. It really depends on what's going on, it depends on the information that the front office can get to your teachers. We are not going to um, hide information. We're going to make announcements, if at all possible, and tell you exactly what's going on so that teachers can make the best decision for your safety. The best thing you can do is to listen and follow those directions because your teacher is charged with keeping you as safe as possible. She's going to have to make the best decisions for you. So on March 15th um, at 8 o'clock in the morning, we will have this intruder drill. I will be giving you directions uh, from the intercom system in the front office and then your teachers will be telling you what else you need to do. But again, remember, First of all, listen, follow directions, and something that we all need to remember is do not open the doors, the outside doors or even your classroom doors for anybody that you don't know. 
or anybody that um, comes to the door, you need to ask your teacher before you open that door just to make sure that all of us are safe. So um, I'll be talking to your teachers about this and then we will be ready for the drill on March the 15th. Thank you. How would you feel if on the first day of school you came home and you looked in the mirror and suddenly you had a flashback of meeting Hitler face to face? This is exactly what happens to Nadia in Stolen Girl. Nadia's memories come back in nightmares and flashbacks. She has no idea and no control over when they happen. Sometimes it will be spurred by something that she's wearing. Other times it will be something she sees on the street. And then suddenly she has this horrific memory and it's almost like traveling back in time, bam. She has this memory that makes no sense to her except that it's terrifying. The thing that Nadia is most afraid of is who she really is. She's almost afraid to remember her past because what if she's one of the bad guys? What if she is a Nazi? Look for my book, Stolen Girl, at your Scholastic Book Fair. 2,000 years ago, dragons were banished from our world, but Beyond the clouds, the evil raptors wait, planning to return and take Earth for themselves. When brother and sister Joss and Allie join forces with a legendary silver dragon, they find themselves in a desperate battle against powerful enemies. The cruel Lennox clan and their fierce raptors will stop at nothing to make Earth theirs. Now Joss, Allie, and the silver must journey to this world and team up with a new friend, Siren to protect their secret and save humankind. Are you ready to take flight? Look for Rise of the Dragons at your Scholastic Book Fair. Hi, my name is Haley Dixon. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Holloway. Hi, my name is India Smiley. This, this is The Respect Show. show. Everybody settle down, get off your phone, and let's get started on your work. Listen up, children. I say get off your phone. You're not being respectful. No, and you don't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. India, you should really put your phone up because that would be the respectful thing to do. <sighs> Fine, you're right. I should put my phone up. Thank you, Mercedes. Now, go out your textbooks. Example of respect. Now, now to hear our book report by Natalie. Good morning, LMS. My name is Natalie Bear, and I wanted to, to talk about a book called Ghost Light by Sonny Vincent. This book is about a girl who is staying in the summer with her grandmother. Her grandmother rented out a cottage to a famous singer and his son who stumbles across a dark and creepy house. And to find out what happens next, you'll have to read Ghost Light by Sonic Grosser. Hello, my name is Alex Bryant. I'm Legion Swift. I represent the upcoming news and events for Lake Sub Middle. The weather today, the weather, the weather's going to be rainy today, partly sunny for Saturday, and partly sunny for Sunday. Oh, aren't you loving There's going to be a soccer game with Girl Cabin. Did you know that there's a book fair coming up? No, I didn't. Well, it'll be March 25th or 29th. The book fair theme is, gonna, is the Stone Age. Booga booga. Hope you enjoyed the news. I'm Lee Swift. I'm Alex Bryant. See you another time. Remember to be respectful and have a great day.